the business of banking introduction to banking role of banks in the economy how the banking system works other financial institutions introduction to banking the business of banking trends in modern banking what is a bank a bank is a business banks sell their services to earn money banks must earn a profit to survive a unique business the services banks offer to customers have to do almost entirely with handling money for other people money is a medium of exchange an agreed upon system for measuring values of goods and services money shows how much something is worth a bank is a financial intermediary for the safeguarding transferring exchanging or lending of money an intermediary is a facilitator acting between parties banks facilitate the flow of money throughout our economy types of banks commercial banks retail banks central banks banking today Traditionally banking was viewed as a solid and slow moving industry banking today is an exciting fast moving around the clock around the world activity mergers a merger occurs when one or more banks join or acquire another bank or banks mergers increase the size of banks giving them more resources mergers decrease the number of banks mergers have created an opening for a new wave of small local banks top 10 largest banks worldwide ranked by size of assets bank and country mizuho financial group japan city group united states the such bank germany jp morgan chase and corporation united states bank of tokyo mitsubishi japan hsbc holdings kingdom united kingdom hypo warens bank germany ubs bank switzerland BNP Paribas France Bank of American Corporation United States Technology Impact on bankers Accounting auditing and examining functions have been taken over by fast and efficient technology Funds transfer record keeping and financial analysis have become instantaneous impact on customers automated teller machines atms smart cards online banking competitions as government regulation have changed competition between banks has become fiercer banks compete with each other and with other business that sell financial services role of banks in the economy banking activities that contribute to economic stability how banking expands the economy banks and economics money is a medium of exchange and the basis of the modern economy banks and other institutions play a critical role in performing services that are essential to the functioning of an economy keeping your money safe record keeping identification enforcement 
transfer security, sound business practices, spreading the wealth. Banks play a key role in transferring money to provide growth and stabilizing the monetary supply. Bank lending makes money available to customers and business to make purchases they might not otherwise be able to make. Transferring between banks, between banks and individual customers, between banks and industry, between banks and governments, between governments, lending, loans to business, loans to governments, loans to individuals, credit cards, home loans, automobile loans, credit worthiness. Evaluating the credit worthiness of customers is a banking function that affects the economy at large. Banking policies and regulations regarding credit worthiness and the ratio of loans to deposit help guarantee a secure financial environment. Guaranteeing the money. In the United States, banks and the government work together to form the banking system and to make sure the money supply is adequate, appropriate and trustworthy. Much of this guarantee is backed through the central banking function of the Federal Reserve. Individual banks work with the government to implement monetary policy, perform exchange functions and defeat counterfeiters of currency. Banks guarantee their own policies. The substance of society. A great part of the economic system is psychological. Banks are at the heart of our financial system and their effect on your life cannot be calculated. How the banking system works. How banks acquire money to do business new services that banks offer to stay competitive money at work banks earn money in various ways most of their income comes from the interest that people or businesses pay as they repay a loan when banks lend money they put it to work the spread the difference between what a bank pays in interest and what it receives in interest is called the spread or net interest income. The spread is not pure profit. The spread is income or revenue. Profit is what is left of revenue after costs are deducted. Other funds. In addition to interest income, Banks have other sources of income. They charge for various services such as rental of safe deposit boxes, account maintenance fees for checking accounts, fees for online bill payments and ATM transaction fees. Banks make money on investments. Banks may have funds at their disposal from stockholder investments. Assets and liabilities An asset is anything of value in financial terms that usually means money. A liquid asset is anything that can readily be exchanged like cash. A liability in financial terms is a cash obligation. Two principles of banking a bank's liabilities exceed its reserves. A bank's liabilities are more liquid than its assets. Banks working for you. Banking has changed radically in the last 20 years. Large regional banks have huge resources. Smaller banks use the flexibility that sometimes comes with smaller size to their advantage changes in traditional services branch locations extended hours drive up windows 
variety of checking accounts, savings options, personal service, new services, credit cards, innovative lending, automated tailor machines, ATMs, smart cards, online banking, other financial institutions, depository financial institutions, non-depository financial institutions, types of financial institutions, depository intermediaries, obtain funds from the public, use the funds to finance their business, non-depository intermediaries, do not take or hold deposits, earn their money by selling specific services or policies, depository intermediaries, commercial banks, savings and loan associations, mutual savings banks, credit unions, non-depository intermediaries, insurance companies, trust companies, pension funds, brokerage houses, loan companies, currency exchanges.